Hello, hello, Regis Kilman here, and it's our Tannis launch day. I've already taken a look at all of his talents and abilities, got a good feel for him in try mode. He even played one AI game, but it's finally time to really learn to play this guy. So here I have queued up for quick match. And we're going to take him into a few live games, see if we can't get a good feel for what Artanis has to offer as far as team compositions and competitive viability actually go. So it's been a very long queue time, which is to be expected when a hero is launched. If it goes on much longer, we might have to edit the video. You won't know how long we waited, but there will be video editing magic in action. Unfortunately, the alternate skins for Artanis are not yet in the game, so all we can see are his various colors. Uh, the base model is fantastic. I absolutely love it. He looks so cool with the floating shoulder pads and the cool thing about Bob floating behind his head. The ponytail doesn't clip that well, but that's okay. I don't totally understand the purplish color scheme and everything else is gold, white, and blue, but it looks okay too. The blades look awesome. It's just a really solid model overall. As far as the alternate colors go, I don't adore this one. This looks kind of dark and bland and too earth tony. Nothing about it really screams cool. Yeah, and we're in a match. Fun stuff. Alright, so I think I'm going to build Artanis pretty aggressively here since we do have an Arthas. This map feels like it will be good for Artanis just because it does involve long-term engagements. His shield should be able to get some real value when he's at low health constantly in the middle of the map, so that'll be nice. Lieutenant Morales might keep me a little too high in health. We'll see. I hope Arthas builds tankier so I'm free to experiment with some damage. I'm not going to go Seasoned Marksman because it's hard to do on this map, but beyond that I think I'm going to go for Auto Attacks. We have a solid team composition. They have two healers. They don't have a ton of damage here, at least compared to us. So as long as we keep our Morales alive, I feel pretty good about our chances here in the matchup. I'll get to see the enemy Artanis in action as well, so I might learn a few tips and tricks from him. If he's any good, he does have a nice golden tiger portrait, so it's a good sign. I hope I don't have a bad mount. Oh good, I have a good mount. <laughs> it's always important. Yeah, Morales, that's right. I'm sorry to say that. I think you're right. He's going to focus you all day. I'm going to go opposite lane as Arthas. Let's see what talent Arthas took. Nothing yet. should probably go block. I actually took the block equivalent. Reactive parry. Anytime I use twin blades, I get two, two charges of block, so... Unfortunately, I don't have much peel for... Well, actually, my E is pretty good peel. Gonna have to learn to use that. Ugh. Oh, I'm dead. Hmm. We should be able to clean up there, yeah. I wanted to get my E off a little quicker. I was... Having some mechanical difficulties, I'm not sure why.
Well, that was a bad aim. Nice team. I feel like uh, Martinez's default region is not very good, but I don't know. I'm not quite ready, bro. I actually have to tap now, unfortunately. It's not ideal, but... I shall purge your evil from this land, demon. I see. That's slow. It's funny watching our chance walk instead of float like, uh, Tassadar. We are focusing the wrong guy here, but... I'm not feeling that uh, comfortable mechanically yet. I'm still thinking about my abilities. It's never a good place to be. Nice. Blocked that Brightwing teleport too. here all day guys. We are gonna need to We are gonna need to move eventually. Yeah, the defend is not working. I agree. The two healers is giving us a lot of trouble. That was a weird engage by him. I'd like to see us try to race here. Zeratul, attack, bro. Zeratul! Ah, uh, I think we might have had it. We waited too long. see what Thrall is specking, and then I'm going to base my talents on that. Okay, so he's actually going sort of defensively. Let's go for it. Follow through. Uh, I guess I gotta go bottom lane to soak. Not that strong against minions yet. This is 
to head back up since Arthas is here to soak. Hopefully he's a little more careful this time. It's dangerous, huh? That Q is harder to hit than I originally anticipated it being. Get up there. Thankfully, we're going to get good positioning on the second round of the Immortal. Or at least neutral positioning, yeah. Neutral positioning, it looks like. Ah, just out of range. The range on the E is awfully short. Mm, we stayed too long. I gotta... I gotta heal. It's very hard to keep track of where your shield cooldown is at in the middle of fights when you're just so worried about positioning and everything else. Alright, so you got some tricks here, bud. Oh, stop focusing that guy. Squishy Rhaegar back there. back here. Just ping the immortal. It's so low. With honor, I lead. So the range on the E has been giving me difficulty so far. That's one thing to keep in mind is Artanis. Having a little bit of trouble closing ground for autos as well. We stand victorious, I lead. But he feels fun. Very, very fun so far. Timing on the Q is also a challenge, just learning where enemies are going to be in the... Get a big grab here from my Eve. It's going to be very, very key to body block as Artanis as well, after you use your E. So that went okay. Actually didn't use my ult greedily enough.
Okay, so I am doing a lot of damage compared to my team right now. Only Vala is beating me. It's not too bad. That's not a great way to start an engagement. Yeah, mana is really the deciding factor on this map. It's good advice. I know they have vision right now, but they won't in a second. Let's see if I can't get a good grab. If Arthas gets a W down, I'll have a good opportunity to E somebody, follow up. That poke damage. That ult, Vala, I don't know. Didn't feel that good to me. Oh, I missed. Shoot. Just that range is so short. We don't have damage without Vala. Jukes of Hazard, by the way, is a brilliant name. I love it. to defend, but I don't think we can get there in time, frankly. Oh, I should probably give that to me, the stem, but... Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, nice timing. I did get it right. Ah, uh, I took it the wrong way. Sure. Pure fire beam just randomly throw down there. It's annoyingly dumb. Ah, uh, see that angle there was just miserable. Okay, I'm just gonna pack here. We got two forts alive, two forts dead. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm pumping out the damage still. Significantly higher than Arthas. I feel like this is a pretty viable uh, damage character. He's, it's like a Sonya almost. Still 20 seconds, still what? Uh, I didn't see what they were pinging, just talking. Oh, till it camps, that's what. Ah, uh, that range. I will reach your position shortly. Morales is such a great target for the pure fire beam without the uh you favor me, without a self heal. Oh, we should have started this, guys. It's the best time to do that camp. 
so it's up while the immortals are pushing or immortal fights. That's a good vision tool, really. Uh, Arthas, watch where your team is. All these VPs. Oh, I gotta get out! Gotta get out! <laughs> it's not a good escape, is it? Well, there are Tannis actually has the second most damage on their team, but Nope, Bright Wing's not it. Ball is it. I cannot maintain. I cannot fail. There can be no doubt. This does not run down the immortal side. It's really not a good idea to use Q there, it's just too much mana. It's not a great utility ability like that. She's just standing in the fear fire beam there. I gotta go. Still think I should actually be getting priority on the stem drone. Just given that I have synergy with attack speed and Vala doesn't. That's something your allies will learn. If she doesn't know our channel yet, that's fine. That's why we're in quick match learning. Should probably say something, but it's okay. It's an important time for team morale, so we still win this game pretty easily. I don't want to throw it. Uh, I guess we can't win this game, actually. It's over. Their tool's not depending with a VP. With all of us coming up, we could actually come back, but it's okay. Yeah, we should have won that game. It's a little bit of a throw. So we'll try again. Felt pretty good as our chance towards the end, but the Q angles are giving me trouble. You have to really be mindful of your angles. If you use your Q dash perpendicularly at all, it's very difficult to hit. It's you got to be as parallel as possible to make your Q count. And then the E, you have to be really mindful of the range because you you kind of seem to pause your movement while casting it so you have to have a little bit of a little bit of a head start on the E in order to really uh, make it stick to make it go, to, go off successfully it's not an end of the range type ability and then the W just spam that sucker 
That's a really, really nice ability. We actually led in damage there, hero damage. Um, it's not surprising, as much as you can put out when you do the auto attack build. But yeah, Stim Drone on Artanis would have been the obvious choice. Uh, Vala, really, I mean, she does nice damage, but not really any more than Artanis hardly, and doesn't have natural synergies with auto attacks, so my shields would have been coming back even faster every time with the Stim Drone on fights. That's right. Gonna AFK for one moment. Uh, while this queue is up. And we're back, and still in the queue. While I was away, I was thinking the E is really just a dangerous ability. I, I noticed a couple times that last match. I, I think I got myself too deep uh, from Phase Prism. So it's definitely not one of those uh, spam it when it's on cooldown abilities. You really have to wait for the exact right moment and make sure you land it, because it is pretty key to isolating enemy heroes. I found myself using it on Zeratul quite a bit in that last match. I think rightfully so. Just to peel and a couple times to dig him deeper so that when he bolted out he was still within range of our ranged assassin. So we didn't really finish on it much or capitalize, but that felt like a pretty good use of Phase Prism in general. But you just need a lot of finesse. It's, I think that's the word. You have to be very careful with Phase Prism, both aiming it because it's pretty difficult to hit in the kind of the chaos of team fights, uh, but also timing because use it at the wrong moment, it's going to get you killed. Okay, wasn't too bad. Looks like I am going to be a little tankier this match, since I am our primary tank. We do have two healers, though, so maybe we can get greedy. Oh my goodness, we got some non-level 40 people. Wow. He had a rank 1. Okay. Doesn't seem totally fair, but... Uh, it's going to be fun. Me and Artanis look like we're the clear uh, high ranks on these teams, but the rest of the MMRs are probably all over the place. That guy's level 40. Brightwing's level 36, at least. I'm the only level 40 on our team. So we're gonna go with block again, just because we definitely need to be a little tankier. And I'm gonna have to think here. Might actually go with. The battle begins in ten seconds. Might go with Chrono Surge. I, I don't know. It's so hard to hit that it's and it's such Five, a long cooldown. I still think four, Lethal Alacrity's the. Three, 
Two, one. Maybe Templar Zeal. We'll try that. I don't feel like uh, Artana solo lane is great, but right wing Uther's not fantastic either, so that might be all right. They have Stitches, Tass, right wing Rainer. It's not a bad team. Stitches can can really tank, and Artanis can be kind of their off assassin there. I don't know if that's worth the mana early or not. It just doesn't do that much damage. So I think it's wiser for me here to go below 50% and then park my shield for free sustain, I guess. Oh, oh, that's dangerous. Maybe try not to do that so much there. Oh, goodness. You, oh... <laughs> Don't do that. You can't out uh, can't out teleport the towers. <laughs> New Artanis here. First first day Artanis. Definitely learning to play Artanis is the right day with this. And this is some definite learnings are happening. I want to kill this guy now though. Don't be a jerk, stitches. Somebody likes jerks. I don't mind, so it's just... I'm getting free shields. So I have to be careful for the tribute here in about 30 or 40 seconds. Probably gonna tap. So the, the next fountain is up a little closer to my post-tribute area. Ugh. Uh, stitches. I think he's out of fountain still. I might have an advantage here. Oh, I'm in trouble. Uther! They're on the way, bro. Why did you run that way, Uther? Where were you? He back all the way? It's my fault. I'm not blaming Uther, it's my fault. Just thought I had him. What's up, guys? Back to soap. False head flew down too late, it was already over. Janice was bad. Guys, that one's over. Give it up. Oh, we're gonna lose so much XP right now. What are they doing down there? The tribute is gone! Actually gonna say so. God, I'm playing with non-level 40s, so might need to be a little more vocal in my uh, instructions from time to time. But they're gonna think I'm a scrub because I've died twice, like a scrub. Tassadar's late, so we got some time here. Oh, gotta finish that. Ugh. Tass shields are brutal!
there's no response there from the team. I wonder what that means. The future is ours. Gather tribute. I must have it. It is destined. I'm gonna try psionic synergy here. See if I can get more shields. Uh, looks like we might have zoned the enemy team out pretty well here. Oh, it's gonna be close. Rainer's real close. Nice. Nice, nice. We don't actually need to take this fight, but I'll do it. In fact, we shouldn't have taken this fight. We're down two levels. And so far, we're the team fights, so. Might lose top wall there, but oh my goodness, he's just ulting me there. Cool. Ah, oh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No slows, no slows. Ah, oh, getting out tooled by Stitch is like a scrub. Shouldn't happen. Well, nobody's there in time. It's over. It's good timing. Oh, that Rainer is shredding through me. Oh, Uther, that was bold move. No, I can't show a lot. Oh, respect the range. Uther, just, just zone. Just zone. Don't, don't engage. Heal me, Uther. You got full mana, dude. I can't do anything. Oh, the polymorph. Mid. Mid teleport. I didn't know that could happen. Mid teleport polymorph is is very good against Artanis. Basically left me stuck. That's something to learn too. Can't guarantee your return trip. They might be doing our boss. No, probably not. Oh. Rainer's a nightmare for me. Oh, yep. Yeah. See, that's not a good time to use that, honestly. That is not a great time to use that. Thank you, Brightwing. Can't believe we got out of that okay. Well, some of us got out of that okay. Ah, uh, sorry, Brightwing. Yeah, so see, that was a not finesse example of using your E right into the enemy team. 
That's not the time to use it, for sure. The Raven Lord demands tribute. We're just getting outplayed here from top to bottom. Four level deficit. This this game is virtually unrecoverable. It's never over, but they're gonna chase into enemy team here, and we're gonna be stuck. We just need to soak. Oh, stitches, bro. What's up? Like, see what's going on down there. Let's see. What happens if you queue through a Tassadar force wall? I wonder if you, uh... I wonder if you actually get stuck on the other side of the force wall or not. I'd like to know that. Oh goodness. More scrub plays. I'm just over this game now. And that sure is some nice damage with the triple strike. I, I feel like you have to take that even in a tankier build. I don't know. It might be too good to pass up. Although phase bulwark's pretty good. I, I didn't pick phase bulwark here because Rainer's all their damage. And it's all auto attack damage. So phase bulwark is useless. Against mages, I, I think you have to take that. But otherwise, how can you pass up? Well, I'm stuck now. Great. Oh, that was risky. I believe that key was yours. Oh, don't kill me, bros. No, nice. Wow, that was close. Oh, Gotta kill this boss, I guess. It's easy to hit, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. Uh oh, sorry, Vala. That's it for you, bro. Oh! Time to test! Oh, I couldn't test. Looked like we went through it, though. Alright, so that was brutal. I don't feel like we learned a lot that game. A few things. Not to overextend like an idiot with your E. I'll play one more. In our effort to learn Artanis and then 
seems like it's going to take a while. I, I actually think he's a pretty high, well, extremely high skill cap character. And a, a hard difficulty rating. I think the game had him rated, rated as medium. But um, that's if you just look at his abilities at a base level. If you really consider their complexity and positioning implications, I think he's really quite hard. I still don't feel instinctual. I feel like I have to think about what I'm doing and when. Um, so, I don't know. I think there's a lot to learn yet about Artanis and still a lot of ground to gain as we learn to play him. Thankfully, he's not even officially out for another week, so... We do have a weak advantage on some people, but it seems like given the queue times, everybody's got Artanis anyway. Apparently Legacy of the Void is going to be pretty popular. I did feel more exposed as a solo tank last game. I don't feel like the talents are quite as organic or smooth to support him as a tank as they are to support him as off-tank damage. There's a pretty clear damage build that kind of unfolds with Season Marksman and follow-through and Nexus Blades and the Triple Blades and all the Twin Blades buffs. That really feels like where Artanis is at home to me so far. The shield trait, I feel like it's great, but only in an organized team and in a dedicated team fight, objective based kind of like. We didn't have a tribute fight that map, so I didn't really get to see it in action. But. I still think he's more of a damage dealer. Which everybody assumed was the case. So far it seems to be true in my mind. I'll be interested, really, really interested to see his hot slogs, uh, Hero League win rates right off the bat. If people try to play him as a solo tank, which they will because they're selfish and want to play Artanis on the first day, uh, he's going to have a lower win rate than, than he should. But if he falls into that Sonya role and... I think he can and matches up pretty well with Sonya. He might see a win rate closer to hers, which is very, very high. My only concerns is that he kind of has trouble sticking, I think, to characters, unlike Sonya, who's pretty good at sticking to people. Uh, with her chain, you know, she, she has a distance closer. His E is, is a sort of distance closer, but it's a risky one because it puts you so deep. And it's a little harder to hit in my mind, so. That range is just so short. He doesn't have movement speed buffs. So it could be difficult to keep him in range. And his Q, of course, doesn't really serve as a distance ground gainer at all, it actually loses you ground. You can really only use it as a finisher or a poke. So far it hasn't felt that useful. I keep trying to use the clear waves, but it's just not that strong. I don't feel like the damage is that impactful either. So I, I, Q doesn't feel great to me yet. E doesn't feel great to me yet. Uh, Twin Blades W feels fantastic. Obviously it's pretty simple, but it's almost like a Thrall Wind Fury. Right there is a the basic ability, so. Maybe with one more match we'll start to get the hang of things with Artanis here.
I'd like to try Zealot Charge in a game as well. While Twin Blades is active, you can you charge a short distance to your target. Like a legit StarCraft Zealot. I think that might be good, the distance closer he needs to stick to people. But it's only while Twin Blades is active, so... Every four seconds you get to charge. I don't know if that's enough to, to lock onto somebody or not. Given how quickly shields seem to be shredded through, I'm starting to think that uh, the shield buff on level 16 is in fact really good. I may try that if I get to level 16 this game. Looks like at least we got some level 40s this time around. Auto select. Interesting. Level 28 too. That's going to be their weak spot. They might not have a legit support either. Although Tassadar's pretty close to legit support now. Oh, it's Vala. So he came into like the safest character imaginable. He'll be fine. Um, we don't have another tank. I think I still have to go reactive parry. It's probably my default anyway. The gates shall open in ten seconds. Master skin as Ebel looks great. Five, four, it's an experienced three, murky at two, least. One. Go on now, fight! Tannis Butcher, yes, yeah, so they don't have a healer, so just that task. If we time these fights well, stretch them out. Might be in good shape. I don't have a healer at all, so I can't do this. Ricky's just gonna go there. Look at those cool StarCraft bros. I feel like the Artanis model just puts the Tessar model to shame, though. Oh, how'd I miss that? Wow. It's no fun. Oh, they're taunting. We don't have to do that too, guys. All the BM. Actually gonna tap here to get ready for the night. Let Murky zone a little. See if I can't grab a kill on Gaz real fast. Oh, you got him, Zeeb. Oh my god, Zeeb, you gotta go- Oh, you gotta get that kill. There's no- No! Oh, no! Oh, you have to get that kill, Zeebo. Wow. I don't know if he got body blocked or what. Sad, though. Very, very sad. I got trapped in a zombie wall for a while, too. I, I don't know if it was good or bad. It, it might have actually protected me, I'm not willing to say. It just felt like a hectic engagement all around. Okay, so we're okay on seeds so far. Ah, that tower range again, man. Not enjoying that tower range at all. We need to get on a big plant soon. Oh boy. No I care. There's a task. Uh oh.
We really need our Uther. There he is. I don't have it yet, guys. Sorry. Ugh, missed again. I'm bad. Oh, thanks, Uther, bro. We need to do a plant. Zebo, come up here. Nobody's up here. Okay, guys, bad engage. There it is, thank you. Mm. Very cool. We have to hurry now. To really hurry. Nice. Good job. That was important. We lost some soak, but totally worth it. Good kill there too on Kaz. It's gonna even out this soak a little bit. Butcher, I thought you were going to haunt my team, bro. I'm actually still going to build a little damage yet. That was going to have trouble with Tassadar's trait. I thought about this before. I wonder if there's ever a strategy with Murky to uh, intentionally kill yourself to get back to soak a wave that somebody's missed. I could see that being an actual thing. Gaz will escape, man, twice! Oh, good try, Nova. He actually stopped that side of the gate, I think. We probably could have finished that up. Seen their Artanis in a while. I wonder what's up. Good thing needs to get some mana. gonna be a night before too long. I want to make sure Uther had the mana he needed. I know he's a real mana hog, so. Tannis doesn't really have a legit escape. You gotta be really careful. Good call, Murky. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Are you ready for some amusement? Ah, Nova. Sad. Tassador again, I'm guessing. Not really anything I can do there. Just need to get ready for this camp and try to soak if I can. Ah, I lost some XP. that's worth it over auto attacks at all for clearing these small camps only a full wave Let's see what's up here mercs oh task vision that's what's up caught the eye a hair late murky should take the plant I can if I need to but Yep. 
Thanks, team, for not being terrible. Oh boy. There's like a group of teams here. Great. That was a perfect E there. First one I've had, I think. Oh good, if their plant's just defending, that's great for us. Line on Butcher and the Archon is pretty awesome. Oh, that's perfect. Starting to feel better about uh, Artanis, but I think the team's a little better too. Um, actually, let's defend plant. Never mind, I'm wrong. I forgot about the plant. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Ooh, there are body blocks, bro. That's annoying again! Let's do it twice. Yeah, that stuff's gone anyway, so I'll let it go. Oh, can we get to him? I don't think so. Come on, into me. I'd love to get to her. Did they take the full top plant? That's a little annoying. Must have been Gazlo solo? Yeah, Robo Goblin Gazlo soloed it. Okay. That's fine. We got some good trades on kills there. I think Psionic Wound is going to be pretty good with the damage that we have. Is it murky? I haven't seen an Octograb yet. I guess there's something around. Must be a task nearby. I don't know if I need that, but it's good a time as any. What's Sibo doing up there? What on earth is the team doing? Oh, maybe not. We got four. We can actually do this. Oh, gas! Oh, you're so low. I missed. Oh, this guy's caught out. Oh, funny. So their tank is down. Can we make some shit? See if we can do anything. Nice, good burst. No, nope. just can't make that do that. It just doesn't do that. Still get engaged though, two kills. Fort pushed them back. Top lane's got some mercs pushing.
We need to back off though, we gotta be careful. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Artanis can do this. Guess our team wants to push the fort. That's... Seems like risky poke, but with Murky maybe it's worth. I think we need to be doing camps so that they're up for the next night. Yeah, we should've. And soon the Chandlers shall rise again. That's a bad time to die. Very bad. Wrong, wrong thing with her. No, with her not yet. We gotta do the small camps. Nice kill, guys. I don't know how that happened, but. Called retreat there, guys. Do not delay. Your terror uh, Rick, is it gonna take it or not? There's two people there, they should be able to grab it, one of them. Yeah, let Murky take. Um, we can do that, yeah, but they're going on too, so I actually think we should uh, take a plant myself. Nope, no, don't go that way, dude. Don't go that way, dude. No! You're taking the bait! Fight, 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 you got him. Nice. Very good. Very good with the plants up. Doesn't help to run when you're trapped in those, guys. Just turn around and swing. Can't get out of your nazebo, so. This isn't gonna do me any good by myself. Can't help take that keep, though. Hi, Stova. Luther, we gotta go, bro. Uh, I think he's gonna be fine. The enemy's nice. Nice, Luther. Go for it, bro. Get out. We need to get this. They're gonna be way too close to another one. Spear! Oh, they're all so low. Great heals from whoever. Fun team fight. Don't get too comfortable. The infested will return again. It's four down. We can kill it. Enemy team Don't go that way, guys. 
Guys, don't. Just ignore it, guys. Come on. Okay, so this is a pretty fun match for... Pretty fun match, I'm curious. Yeah, okay. One death, that's fine. Victory. Stats look like what you'd expect. Not as high as the damage dealers, but solid for a tank. Throw our Tannis led across the board, interesting. Might be a sign of skill, I don't know. I might not be that good. Okay, so... That was a better example of what Artanis looks like, I think, in a good team comp when he has some time to survive and cause havoc, particularly that last fight there around the uh, mini garden tear. That was tested on action. I'll have to watch a replay. It's pretty hectic when you're playing to keep an eye on every single thing that was happening. But I started getting the hang of the E better with a team to follow it up and kill people. We got a couple kills secured because of phase prism. Blade Dash still doesn't feel like a really useful ability to me. I never noticed it make a huge impact. Twin Blade's still great. Suppression Pulse was fantastic against Butcher. And the enemies keep taking Purifier Beam. I seem to be the only guy so far at Suppression Pulse. Um, I don't know, that longer cooldown, the limited impact, it's sort of easy to escape. I'm still not convinced that that's the right talent. It's more offensive, this is more defensive, but I think Suppression Pulse is just the better team fight ult, so... Who knows? Anyway, that was uh, an attempt to learn to play Artanis. We certainly haven't mastered him, but we're getting on the way. I hope you learned a few things about Artanis' playstyle and his abilities and some general strategies. If you have any questions as I start to play Artanis more, I'd be happy to answer them, and uh, I'll know a little more and have a little more insight into what other people are doing as well once I see some builds online this week. So please do ask some questions. Happy to share my insights. And thanks for watching, and until next time, game on.